Alright, so next I'm going to be trying to polish this up a little bit. I tried just polishing it by hand a little bit, you can see here. Um, and it's just a little too rough. So I'm going to sand it and wet sand it. And then I'm going to actually polish it up with the buffer. So it's a little too rough. You can see it's got some damage. There's it looks like he scraped something here. And there is a lot of scratches in it. I'm not sure if those will show up. But there's a lot of scratches in it and just a lot of fine scratches. So we'll be using some sandpaper and some wet sanding to try to remove a lot of that and we'll see how that goes. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is take some number zero or zero zero four aught uh, steel, uh, stainless steel wire and I'm just going to degrease it just to see what's going on with this thing. So I may start with 220. I usually start with 400 on aluminum, but this is rough. So I may start a little bit coarser. And then obviously here where it looks like something was run into. So sorry for the wind noise, it's pretty windy today. So, I'll probably start with 220 or 200 because this is this is pretty rough. So just to get it smooth again, just to try to bring it back to not having all these tiny little scratches in it. So I'll probably start with 220, work my way through 400. So I'll probably start 220, then go to 400, then wet sand with 600, then 800, then maybe 1,000, and then I'll hit it with the polisher and we'll see what that looks like. So this is what it looks like after the 220. All right, so we've sanded with 400. Um, not a ton of sanding, but just enough to get it all smooth and to get it kind of frosty looking. All right, so this is frosted. We can see there's still the injury that was here is still pretty visible. I'm not comfortable sanding it down that far so that that disappears. But the one down here has become considerably lighter. So um, the mark here, there's still a mark there and that's pretty deep as well. But that when that polishes out, I think that'll hide that pretty well. So, um, so that's what it looks like after 400. So Alright, so that's been now wet sanded with 600. Alright, so that's now 800. I'm sorry, yeah, 800. So, starting to look a little better. That's after a thousand. So it's quite windy out here. Sorry for the wind noise. And this is what it looks like after a thousand. So next we're gonna dry it off and get it ready. So if you like the brush metal look, um, 
you could basically stop here. So this is kind of a brushed metal look. So this is what it looks like. All right, so now we'll hit it with the polisher. So we're using the same polisher. This is just a seven inch polisher from, I think from Harbor Freight. So we didn't want to use a really good one on this either. So this is rouge, so brown rouge. And this is a buffing wheel that I used to do the, uh, to do the side panels on. So we've got a rough first pass here. I haven't really even done this corner yet so you could see the difference between that and that. So it's really starting to shine it up. So we'll give it a couple more passes with the rouge and the color and then we will do a final pass with the white. So I'll probably end up changing the pad because this pad's a little too small now. All right, so we're gonna change out the pad. This one's gotten a little too worn out. This is what they look like when they're new. So this is what ours looks like. So I think we've gotten our use out of that one. Um, what I normally use are these just cotton sewn buffs. And these make a giant mess. So they throw all kinds of threads everywhere and they just generally make a much bigger mess than these have. So I think I'm pretty much sold on these um, they're called Airway, Airway Buff Pads. Um, they make like two or three different ones. Um, they're ones for cutting and ones meant for finishing. So I got the cutting and the finishing ones and they also make an in-between one. Um, I normally just do it in two steps. So I'll cut and color, which is what we're doing now. And then I'll go back for the final color, which is just with the white rouge. So right now I'm using the brown. So we're gonna use this one and Another thing that happens when you polish is um, these will get crudded up with like aluminum. So it's a good idea to take a rasp and just kind of every once in a while just clean off all the stuff. So anyway, I am going to change this out and then we'll be finishing um, this piece hopefully within the next little bit. So here we go. So I'm going to call this done for the initial cut. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better. So you can clearly see the reflection in it. So next, I will move to um, a softer buffing wheel. So this is a white one. And it's just, it's a softer, almost like a wool type material. And then I'll be using this white, um, this is called Jeweler's Rouge. It's just a white finishing polish and it doesn't really cut at all. It mostly just polishes. So I'll go through and I'll polish it up and then we'll go through and we'll hand polish it with some, um, just some, probably some mag um, aluminum polish to just put a, it almost puts like a little layer of wax on it. And um, we'll call this part done. Now we've wiped it down with the rag. All right, so time to polish it by hand. So normally I use just Mother's mag and aluminum polish and it works really well. But um, recently some people have suggested I try this. It's called Happich Semi-Chrome. Um, I don't know, I'll try it. So, so we'll give this a try. So I'll try both and see if there's a difference. Um, it's pretty shiny now. It's, um, you can still see a little bit of the damage here and here, and it's just, I mean, the guy clearly ran into something. <laughs> I'm not sure there's a whole bunch we could do about that, but it does look better. So I'll try this stuff. Um, looks like it's kind of pink, so. The directions say a little bit goes a long way. 
so we'll see. I'll put a little tiny dot on a match here, and then we'll just rub it in. All right, so we've got that on, and it turned pretty black. So um, hopefully it'll polish up really nice. So I use a fresh, clean towel. It should be dry already. So come through, start to polish it up. All right. I'm probably going to call that done. So. Alright, so on this side we just finished cutting and polishing this one, so we're going to use the mothers and just see if there's a difference. Um, I kind of don't think there will be, but we'll give it a go anyway. that dry and we'll come back and clean it up. Alright, it's had adequate time to dry, we'll take it off. Alright, that's with the mothers. Um, it looks pretty good. I think, like I said, I think they're both. I think they're both pretty adequate. So they both look like they do a pretty good job. <laughs>